In this problem, we have two matrices and we're being asked to multiply them. So we'll have to find A times B. So here A has two rows and three columns. So it is a two by three matrix. Here B has three rows and one, two, three, four columns. So it is a three by four matrix. So again, A has two rows and then one, two, three columns, two by three. B has three rows, one, two, three, and four columns, so it's three by four. These numbers are called the dimensions of the matrices. So A is a two by three matrix, and B is a three by four. Because these numbers match, we're allowed to multiply, and the resulting matrix will be the outside numbers. So if these inside numbers uh, don't match, you actually cannot perform the multiplication. So Let's go ahead and multiply these, and the answer will be a two by four matrix. The outside numbers always give you the result of the dimension of the resulting matrix. I'm gonna go ahead and write down A again down here. So this is two, three, negative one, and then four, negative two, five. And let's go ahead and put the B right next to it for convenience. This is two, one, four, negative one, three, one, 0, negative 5, negative 2, and 6, 1, 2. So 6, 1, 2. Okay. And the resulting matrix will be, again, a 2 by 4. So we'll have um, two rows and four columns. Okay, so let's go ahead and carefully work through it. So first we're going to find the entry in the first row and first column. That's where we are, right here where my cursor is. So to do that, we use the first row, first column. So we take two times two, so I'll write it, two times two, plus, then we take three times one, so I'll write it, plus, and then we do negative one times four, so I'll write it. Okay, so again, it's the first row, first column, first row, first column, that's how you memorize it. So again, this is in the first row, first column, so you use the first row, first column. So two times two is from there, three times one, negative one times four. Let's go ahead and go to the first row, second column. So we use this one here still, first row, second column. I'm gonna skip some steps now. So two times negative one is negative two. Three times three is nine. And then negative one times one is negative one. Again, we're in the first row, second column. Now let's go to the first row, third column. So we use the first row and then third column. We just basically take the dot product. If you know the dot product of vectors, that's what you're doing. So you do two times zero plus three times negative five plus negative one times negative two. So two times zero is zero. Three times negative five is negative 15. And negative one times negative two is positive two. And I'm skipping the steps because I actually ran out of room. <laughs> so, and the last one is first row fourth column, so we use the first row, fourth column, so 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 1 is 3, and then negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. All right, let's go to the second row, maybe it'll make a little bit more sense uh, if you're a little confused. So now we're going to work uh, with, on this entry here. So this is in the second row, first column, so we use the second row, first column. So 4 times 2 is 8, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and then five times four is 20. Again, this is the entry in the second row, first column. So we use the second row and the first column. So now we're going to this entry here. So four times negative one is negative four. Negative two times three is negative six. And then um, five times one is five. Now we're in the third row. Uh, sorry, it's a second row, third column. So four times zero is zero. Negative two times negative five is 10. Five times negative two is negative 10. Very, very nice. Excellent. And now we're in the second row, fourth column. So we use the second row, fourth column. So four times six is 24. Long problem. Negative two times one is negative two. And five times two is ten. This is one of those things that once you once you get the pattern down, um, you'll be able to do it. Alrighty, let's keep going. So let's clean this up. So this is equal to. Let's see here. So this is going to be four plus three minus four. So oh, basically these cancel. So we're just left with three. 
Here we have 9 minus 3, so that's going to give us uh, 6. This is negative 15 plus 2, which is negative 13. And this will be, um, that's a minus sign there, I believe. So it's 15 minus 2, so it's actually 13. These cancel, so we're just left um, with, um, let me see if we did this one right here. 4 times 2 is 8, negative 2. Oh, that doesn't cancel. I made a mistake there. That's a 20, so that's uh, that's not a 2. <laughs> so it's 26. Easy to mess up. Very, very easy. Uh, negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5. These cancel, so you get 0. And then here we're going to get 22 plus 10, which is 32. And that is the product of the matrices. Again, to find, say, this one, this is in the first row, first column. So you use the first row, first column. To find this one, this is in the second row, second column. So you use the second row, second column. Look, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 5 times 1 is 5. So yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.